it is a beautiful morning I've been to town I got some string Amazon didn't send my package on time of course um, I'm back at Kinkora um, it's a little bitty hostel see the little bitty sign says hostel um, if you come up to the door there's the front door so yeah front door but you don't go to that one you go all the way back here and it's not really all the way you walk back here a uh, little picnic table um, Bob Peoples runs this place. Um, it's donation only, $5. Uh, and then, uh, as you can see, this is where the raccoons, he has two raccoons and a possum, and they get, um, they get fed. Uh, you, there's cats everywhere, so if you don't like cats, oh well. Um, here's the, this is the shower, bathroom, bathroom, um, washroom. There's Tangerine. Hello. Getting back on the trail. I got it, Tangerine. Yeah. And um, then, of course, there's the hostel living room, little kitchen, a couple bunks here. And there's a whole set of bunks upstairs. Um, yeah, it's nice and warm in here. Bob is a wonderful person. He's got, uh, well, obviously, he's a trail legend. Everybody knows Bob, and Bob knows everybody. Um, he's got a little bit of, little, quite a bit of history, actually, for this place. Um, anyway, uh, there is no Wi-Fi, there's no alcohol, there's no drugs, and there's no signal for a phone unless you have Verizon. So, if you're going to stay here, this is, uh, it's a nice, quiet little place for solitude. Um, it's 0.2 miles from the trail, so when you get off um, here in uh, Hampton, you just walk two miles, point two miles to the trail, and bada boom, bada bing, it'll uh, it'll point you right out here. Um, and like I said, it's five dollars. You get a shower, you get uh, a shave, um, and you get to go. Um, you know, spend the night. It's a quick night. It's uh, and it, like I said, it's five dollars donation. He's got a nice little cabin out here. He's got a treehouse in the back too. Um, there you go. So I'm headed to the trail here in a second. Um, I did Pond Mountain yesterday, so I'm going to keep on going today. Like, when you get going, you're like, man, it's intense. I, I am so bad with the antenna. is in Spain. Uh -huh. It's over 200 feet yards from the trail. I go to the next one. You got my same pack, except the silver version. This is, uh, this is Bob Peoples. <laughs> Bob, say hello to everybody on the planet. Hello, everybody on the planet. Well, there you go. That's the guy right here. <laughs> oh, so, like I said, when you get to Hampton, come on in, see Bob. Uh, and it's a nice little, nice little place. Nice little place to stay the night and then keep on going. And it's you'll, you'll get great stories for sure. Okay, you might be able to see him. See him on the far side of the pond. I'm adding wood duck to the list of animals I've seen. Saw a raccoon. I've seen wood ducks in the past two days. I'm on the trail right now. Uh, I'm rounding this little point. That's Watauga Lake. And there's the mountain I'm going to climb off in the distance. Um, and it's, uh, uh, Bob told me it's nine miles to there. So I'll go a little faster today than I did yesterday. Uh, but I'm skirting the lake right now, uh, and then I'll head on up, head on up the trail into the mountains. So it's a bunch of switchbacks right off the bat. So it's not too bad. And look at this, poof! It's even paved. What? Yeah, look at that pavement. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's the lake. Yeah, but we go this way. Look at this. Somebody was nice enough, and they even put grips on it so they. That I wouldn't fall, even me, you know. Ooh, oh, hey, whoa. Ooh, that was a, <laughs> that was close. Anyway, yeah, the trail comes up here. Um, Bob was telling me at the end of trail days, or sorry, at the beginning of trail days, starting Friday at 9 a.m., they sign up for uh, uh, basically work for work for hike. Um, they do maintenance uh, on Sunday and Monday on the trail and then they take you back to where you got off of the trail uh, 
and this is in trail days at the next big town I'm gonna stop in I'm gonna try and make that in a couple days a uh, bunch of warnings here I saw these uh, when I first got on this morning like I said it's like 10 30 I'm just now starting and uh, those warnings say uh, basically this part is closed there are parts of the lake that are closed because we're hiking right next to the lake and uh, those parts are closed due to uh, well it didn't really say did it um, anyway uh, there was a guy uh, not in our recent history but I was telling me that uh, they uh, he had been baiting bears and thus now there is a bear problem and they've closed the shelter and they had to actually put down a couple of the bears because he was baiting them and they would you know they became invasive to the human population and Bob, Bob went to the meeting where they said yeah we're gonna have to put down these bears and Bob raised his hand he says well why don't you put down the dude that was baiting the bears because that's the one that's causing the problem it's not the bear's fault that people are people are uh, misbehaving. He said, and not only that, but if you did that, you'd have one less Jeep on the road. No issues. Oh my gosh, what a good guy. I love that. That's funny. Anyway, uh, I did Pond Mountain yesterday, so I did what, I did the hike behind me. Uh, nine miles. It took about nine hours. Uh, we went about one mile an hour. I was hiking with a, uh, a lady that was staying at King Cora, uh, you know, helping her out a little bit. She's, uh, she's from Florida and uh, not a hiker, but uh, she, uh, yeah, she, I made sure that she didn't you know, fall off the side of a mountain, I guess. Or if she did, at least she had somebody there to go, okay, well, you fell off the side of a mountain, bummer. I don't know what I could have done. I'm not, you know, I'm not trained in anything. Are you kidding me? <laughs> I can barely take care of myself. I mean, look at this. This is a hazard to me. Woo. Okay, here we go. Uh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Uh, 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 woo. Uh, anyway, so she's gonna be hiking again soon enough, I guess. Uh, she said she hurt her knee or whatever. Um, a leg hurt or something. I don't know. She nine miles is a long way for some people to hike. Um, and nine miles is a long way to hike. I remember doing it the first day and it was totally painful to me. I almost died. And now look at me. 400 miles later, I'm still walking on a trail. A bunch of mud on it. I could slip and fall and into these uh, brambles or bushes and scratch myself up but it's a glorious day oh and it's getting warmer what no rain until Sunday I'll be in the uh, in Grayson Highlands petting ponies actually I'm, I might not pet a pony I don't know what you're supposed to do with the ponies um, other than you know it's the Grayson Highlands and they have ponies up there yay all right more later just so you know, I'm at uh, Watauga Lake still in the Cherokee National Forest. And it says here that the area is closed. No picnicking, lingering, or overnight camping. Hiking the Appalachian Trail only. Bears active in this area. Help us protect you and the bears. Please continue hiking through the area without stopping. And there's the shelter sign to Watauga Lake Shelter. It looks like it'd be a nice little shelter. Way back there, nestled above, looking at the lake. Everything's nice, everything's wonderful, and then BAM! A black bear chews your face off. So, needless to say, I shall not be stopping for the next, uh, I don't know, however many miles, because I do not want to get my face chewed off. At least by a bear. Well, I don't want to get my face chewed off by anything, but today, no bear chew face off thing. And look, the very first thing you do, they put an obstacle in your way. Here I am, American Ninja Warrior, going across this thing. No stopping. I'm beating, racing the clock. Oh, 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 look at that. Raging torrent. Oh, 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 oh,
Yep, I'm still not stopping. I'm keeping on trekking. Check it out, Watauga Lake. I'm still hiking. Uh, still not stopping, because I had Robert John. Oh, I'm coming back, back down to Watauga Lake, too. Um, it's off in the distance. And I guess Van Deventer Center, or shelter, is way up there. Anyway, yeah, as Robert John would say if he was here, I'm not terrified of bears, I'm barified. Ha, huh? get it, barified, terrified, oh yeah. Bad pun, Robert John, I can hardly hear you say it. Talk to you soon. Still skirting with Taga. There's a couple fishermen down there. They're uh, fishing. I, you know, that's kind of what fishermen do. They're down there catching something, hopefully. Hopefully they're catching and not just fishing. Anybody can fish. There's a big, huge tree that just fell down. Uh, yeah. There they are, out there. Bright yellow vest. They're doing everything right. There's a dam off in the distance. It's really pretty out here. So. Okay, if you look real close, you can see down there on a log, there's a turtle. Yep, add turtles to the list. Bam, another wild critter. Woo, baby. The list is getting longer by the second. More Watauga Lake. This is me standing on top of... Well, I'm headed up there. Uh, oh, excuse me. Oh, ooh, I almost fell off. And that, way down there, is my doom if I fall. These are my poor little shoes that have been through 400 some odd miles. Um, yeah, shoes are expensive. Woo, but anyway, I'm tearing them off left and right. Mountains way off in the distance. And uh, I've gotta go down that which I'm gonna hold the camera and walk just for a second. Well, if I don't die, uh, cause remember how I said that over there is Watauga Lake? Yeah, that is not. That's just a big, huge valley that I could fall down to my death in. Probably full of bears where they would scavenge off of my remains. Mm -hmm. But coyotes or wolves or jaguars, possibly a, a dragon. Who knows? Who knows what's down there? But I'm not going to go down there and find out. I'm going to keep walking on this. Remember how I said I wasn't going to go down there? Yeah, I'm going down there. Yeah. Who knows? Jaguars. This is Watauga Lake. Look at that. Beautiful, isn't it? This is the other part. I've been walking around this lake. Going uphill, up there, and uh, yeah, I'm still going up, who knew? So, yeah, but I'm walking next to this beautiful lake. It's like the third marina I've seen. So, and uh, uh, super English, he's another hiker on the trail. He's way in the back, back there. Hey, pretty cool. Anyway, I figured I'd stop and show this off. There's the end of Watauga Lake, I think. I'm still up here, I'm still hiking, and that is looking down. And over here's Watauga Lake. And a bunch of rocks, and the trail keeps going. Hey guys, so it's nighttime. Uh, hiked all the way to Iron Mountain Shelter, so it's like, I don't know, 9 and 6 or 7, so like 16 miles. Anyway, it was a wonderful day of hiking. Um, I got to chat with uh, a couple people, and yeah, I got to chat with, uh, yeah, it was, it was neat being in contact with the world as I hiked along the ridge. Um, so it was yeah it was interesting um it was you know here i am hiking and i'm talking to people in the real world that are really doing other things other than you know putting one foot in front of the other with a lot of a lot of weight on their back who knew um anyway 
Uh, all that being said, an early morning tomorrow, and then poof. Um, yeah, maybe the next day after that I'll be in uh, Damascus, Virginia, the hiker town of hiker towns. At least that's what they say. Who knows? Um, yeah, so I'm getting ready to crash. It's dark. Um, it's dark. Yeah. Time for bed. <laughs>